What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at everything I picked up this week on Heels Hauls. Man, it was a good week of gets. I hope you guys were able to get out there into the retail stores and find whatever it is that you've been looking for. Um, I know I was able to check off quite a few things on my list this week. So we're not even gonna mess around. We're gonna get right into it. First up, I wasn't even gonna get this, okay? This is the Wrestling Collector Shop uh, exclusive Major Bendy Green Pants Sabu. Very reminiscent of that OSFTM ECW Sabu. Complete repaint of the Extreme Bendies uh, from them. I love the scars. I love the green pants. And uh, it comes with a card. Very cool. Now I got to pick up the Sandman. But this was super cheap, so I couldn't say no to it. Also got another Superstars Series 7. <laughs> What you gonna do? Blue Boots Hulk Hogan Chase. Uh, I'm gonna be opening this bad boy up for my loose shelf. Um, obviously gonna take the cloth goods off, put them on display. We got the standard right there. Man, do I need another standard to have the, the cloth goods off and have the, the red and yellow showing? I don't know, but now we got a complete loose set. Uh, we already had this mint on the card, but now we have a complete loose and a complete mock set. So nice to check some stuff off, right? Now on to the good stuff. My man JM Wit 55. He found a rare edition, one of 3000 Keith Lee. And he hit me up. He said, hey, I found this. Don't need it. Don't want it. Do you want it? I said, yeah, how much? My man hit me up. He said, 30 bucks. I said, sold. He sent it over. And now I don't have to go into the stores looking for this thing. So shout out to JM Wit, great collector, great collection, great guy overall. And I uh, appreciate him helping me out with this. Kind of crazy that they basically just redid two Mattel Elites uh, in the Unrivaled line. But I'll be honest, these Keith Lees are great. The head scans, excellent. I love the rubberized goods. I think overall these may be um, better than the Mattels because of the unique body molds the head scan is great the applications uh maybe we'll do a video or something side by side of the rare and chase edition of both of them so and in the elite vein i got from amazon my purchases of elite series 108 first up is terry gordy first time in the line doubles as an executioner uh, first time in line figure, so I need this one mint on card as well, but I wanted to get one knowing I was going to open it and display it as executioner. Hot take, I think um, for a store shelf, it would have been much better to have him in the package as executioner. Um, even kids who don't know wrestling uh, see that and they'll be like, I want that, right? I don't think it's the most toyetic figure seeing this Terry Gordy, nor do I think the head's that great. Uh... It just looks like a guy in trunks, right? And this is kind of like almost hidden in the box. I just feel like it would have been a better representation, presentation, I should say, uh, on store shelves. But Mr. Terry Gordy from Bad Street, USA, six feet, four inches, 289 pounds. The power bomb is his finisher. Whether the enforcer of the fabulous Freebirds or the executioner of WWE, Terry Bam Bam Gordy was one of the toughest superstars to ever lace up a pair of boots. WCW Tag Team Champion and UWF Hall of Fame inductee. Pretty cool. There he is with the UWF Championship, which we will be getting with Big Bubba Rogers. Also from the Elite Series 108, I got L.A. Knight. Yeah! It's all right. I don't think the head's that great. There's something weird about the mouth to me, personally. I don't... I think it looks like him, but then he gets to the mouth and it's like a little Simpson-y. Uh, very cool. I'm going to open this as well. Can't wait to do that. He's got the mic, which, you know, if you're making an LA knife figure, he's got to have the mic. Yeah. But he's absolutely ripped. 
He's got the LA Knight night head on the trunks, the Defiant uh, vest. We're really gonna unpack this when we unpack this, so. Great shot of him right there, rocking the gear. From Los Angeles, California, six feet, one inches, 240 pounds, the BFT. Let me talk to you. There's only one megastar who can take WWE to heights never before reached with everybody saying L.A. Knight. Yeah, career highlights, million dollar champion, which is such a, a fun fact uh, for L.A. Knight and to see what kind of a star he's become. And last but not least, the one I've been waiting for, shh, it's Chelsea. Chelsea Green. Now, it's funny with this. I see some people saying that this is blue gear. I see some people saying it's purple gear. Um, to me, it's like almost like a kind of a, a mix of t the two, like a deep purple, bluish. But comment below what color you think this is. There's a lot of hot takes on this, like uh, conflicting reports. Some people think it's purple, some think it's blue. And I can see both. I can de definitely see why people think it is one or the other. But I bought three of these. All three were the standard edition. I wanted the Chase. From Victoria, uh, British Columbia, Canada, 5'7", I'm prettier as a finisher. If anyone tries to make a hot mess of her path to championship glory, Chelsea Green is ready to speak with the manager. Women's Tag Team Champion. Very cool, great figure. I can't wait to display her with the sh finger. Awesome, awesome figure. And from Jazzwear's Vault, I picked up the new Ring of Honor drop of Danhausen. Uh, he is number four in the Ring of Honor set. I love these outer shells that they come in inside the other shipper. Beautiful artwork. And then you got this inside. Again, the more beautiful artwork with the little uh, the dots on there, like the comic dots, which I love to see. But this figure, this may be, in my opinion, the best Danhausen figure. It is like a ultimate style uh, interpretation of the... Zombie Seller Toys Retro. The heads are great. I love these, got the jar of teeth. The gear's awesome. The cloth goods cape is exceptional. I love the interchangeable hands. Just very, very well done. I like this more than any other Jazz Wears Dan Housing. Um, thrilled that I picked this up. Didn't think I needed another ja uh, Dan Housing, but clearly I did, because this is just a, an exceptional figure. You gotta put them all side by side to see. The only thing is like the abs on it's a little odd. That like lower abdomen, it's, it's, it's just odd to me. It's a massive two pack, <laughs> massive two pack that my man's rocking. But we love Dan Housen and I love the Ring of Honor line. So I am a completist on this. Can't wait for those Briscoes. Next up from Collect Forever, I got this Kenny Omega, uh, one of 1000, number four in the set. I like these. I, I got them kind of like a, a FOMO purchase, and I was like, I'm not sure what I'm going to think of these, blah, blah, blah. I actually really like this. These uh, slabbed up figures. I think it's a really cool concept, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is the Ultimate Edition uh, tights. He's got the championship and the microphone. Now, these are based off of the first series of cards, which I think is really cool. Uh, I see people saying um, that number five in the set is going to be Keith Lee. I just, that, that doesn't line up for me because everybody else was in the original trading cards. And I do not think that Keith Lee was in the original trading cards. Um, I'd have to go back and look, but I just don't remember that. It's very unique. You know, it's kind of a mishmash of figures, but it looks good. You know, we got a new head on this Kenny. So it's technically kind of like a, a newer figure. Collect Forever exclusive. I already got the first four, so you know I gotta get the fifth, even if it is Keith Lee, but I don't see how it could be Keith Lee over MJF. So I'm expecting MJF as number five. We shall see. And last but not least for the day, another AEW pickup. We got, I'm sure you figured it out, Death Triangle. This has been my most anticipated drop from Jazzwares Vault. It's got this little outer shell, which is really cool. It slips over. One of 3,000, number 141 in the Unrivaled line. The back has this awesome shot of all three of them with their signatures. And then inside, it is a triangle with their pictures, again, on the back. And then it folds out and the figures are in line. I mean, it's just a great presentation, excellent packaging. If there's one thing that Jazzwares does exceptionally well. It is definitely packaging and unique packaging and making these exclusives 
feel special, feel like something that you can't get at retail, right? That's how these feel. These feel like an exceptional collectible and uh, they do a really good job with that. All these figures look great. Not my favorite Penta head, but I think that the one on Pac's pretty good. And I think the gear on uh, Mr. Ray Phoenix is really well done, so. Love the belts as well. I think this is a great value for these figures. I believe it's still available, but it's limited to 3,000. So we got some really good stuff this week, man. I'm super thrilled. A lot of stuff to open. Comment below. Let me know your favorite thing I picked up this week and your favorite thing you picked up this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Twitter is at TheFigHeel. Pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia. Wait. I almost forgot. I got the Macho Man Randy Savage Be A Man album on vinyl. And this is from Limited Run Vinyl, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's not very many of these made. Um, there is a number. But I love this part. The sticker on the front says, Oh yeah, two-time WWF World Heavyweight Champion. So, forgot to mention that one. But yeah, make sure you're checking out Taste Fresh Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And you can follow us at Case Fresh Pod. Head over to whatheel.com join and you'll get $15 off your first purchase and if you are interested your first purchase could be the final run of fig heel figures this is the one of five chase variant there is one more available and these are the standard editions there's only a couple left of them and once they're gone they're gone we're not remaking these doesn't mean we won't have more fig heels uh, in the future, different molds, different style figures, but this is going to be the last of them. So get them while you can. Super limited, super collectible, and we are almost out. See you on the next one, guys. Thank you for joining us. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.